Hey again. I read the comments. Talk about my parking. Oh. <laughs> Even though you'll have the parking lot empty. Dude, you'll still park right well, beside you. well, people loved you, man. I mean, I shoot, I freaking got a lot of views. And then somebody was there. like, four hundred dollars from a corporate place. Okay, I'm sorry, I want to support a small business. Well, I want to support a small business. What's the? Well, yeah, why and, is, and that's why great. Is all so irritated and that's that. great, and I love it. And I love it. So, but I do. Here's the deal. I need to. I need to know. Uh, how how did you? How did the this? lady? Because whenever I went there, she was the one that helped me get them first. But she okay, because yeah, I didn't see there. her there. Yeah, and that's why I told her. I said, so like, yeah, I had just stepped out on break. She's like, who's who did you talk to? And I said, he talked to a manager. Yeah. And so she called somebody at Dodge, and he said it was just off by a number. Like the ones oh, that we yeah. had were six. The ending was six, and it was an eight. Oh, okay. And so she called him and was like, yeah, it's a Black Ops edition. It's a SXT. All that. Yeah. And what does that mean? Yeah, because we were there for a minute, dude, yeah. going through. And, and then all she did was sit there. She looked. She's like, hang on. Then she called, put my VIN in, and he pulled it up. And this was at AutoZone? Yeah, right over here. Yeah, that's great. Well, shout out AutoZone, <laughs> man. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, all right. I'll step back. All right, yeah, so I was going to say it, because I liked how you had it last time, because I had yeah. plenty of room to work on that's it. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, so. I swear, I could park right where that car is. And have the just like that, and then two minutes later, everybody will sit there parking. Yeah, there. well, I was hoping you wouldn't park like just in position for a commoner's sake. So I was like, dude, I don't want to be that close. Not, I didn't even know you had posted or anything. And we went to my son's therapy, and she's like, oh yeah, you're a TikTok famous. I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, sent it to me. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, dude, people loved you, man. I, know, I was like, like, she's like, you got like fifty thousand views. Yeah, I was like, okay. dang. <laughs> I was like, girls got it going on, I guess. I think it's my car. <laughs> <laughs> Well, all right, man. I'm excited to get these things knocked out. Alrighty. Shouldn't take me long. And then, I mean, we get, and then later we need to try to get whatever's in that headlight out. I know. That's I think annoying. It's just water. That's yeah. I was about to ask you that too. I was like, how do you get that out? I don't. I <laughs> actually don't you know, take it but all I'll. Apart, you take it off, Mike. Like, like maybe pop the lens off if they're yeah. if you're able to. I mean, I'm sure you are, but I mean, yeah. Well, I'll I'll dig into that after all that. <laughs> Well, that's pretty cool, huh? So shout out to uh, AutoZone for taking the time to do that with her. What, whoever, whatever lady that was. I'm sure uh, Chuck would like to hear that because he's an AutoZone fan. And shout out to that as well because that's pretty phenomenal. Um, anyways. Okay, guys, so we're at an apartment complex. And I don't know if you remember, but there's... Okay, I had a picture that was taken of me while I was working last time. And it got sent to my phone while I was working on the vehicle. And I mean, it, it, you know, it freaked me out. And I'm not gonna lie to you. There's about like, there's about like 10 people outside right now. So, I'm not wanting to sit here and talk um, while I'm doing a brake change. You know what I mean? Then that will, that's just room for conversation. And I'm trying to work and get to the next job. So, here's the deal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna level with you. It's super easy. We just pop the caliber off, and then obviously I'm changing the hardware now and realized that I forgot the brakes. So guys, absolutely, anytime you do a brake change, you want to uh, clean these guides off. Clean them as best as you can. Re-grease them. Grease the shit out of them. And put them in there and make sure you don't like you know make sure you're not dropping grease or nothing like that but make sure you grease them really sufficiently so to a lot of people this would be considered a pad slap and i mean i'm gonna be honest that's you know that's technically that's what it is because we're not changing rotors and all that i mean i'm changing you know the brackets i'm changing the hardware the brakes i'm greasing it up all nice and you know professionally i just here's the deal i don't like the i don't like the phrase pad slap it just sounds super unprofessional, so we're calling this a brake change. That's it. Right. I warrant you my work, so. Okay, and then um, I guess you'll look up to see how to get that liquid out. I will indeed, yeah. I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments as well. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. You're welcome. It was a pleasure working for you. Holler at me if you need anything. And, okay. and once I figure that out, I'll let you know. Okay.